to sell digital crossword puzzles on Etsy. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can sell your own products using this platform. So guys, for those who don't know what is Etsy or what is the job of Etsy, so basically this platform is a platform where you can sell your products or you can buy other sellers products as you can see in here. We have a lot of products which are mostly handmade products as you can see in here a lot of earrings and a lot of jewelry or clothes also some books gifts as you can see in these categories so in here I'm just going to show you one of these product pages which is called in Etsy the shop page so here in this video I'm going to teach you how you can create a shop page of yours like this one how to add these your products pictures or video if you have one how you choose the pricing or how you type a price for your product how you choose these details and how you write your description like this one as you can see in here how to set your shipping and return policies and much more so let's just go back and let's click on sign in to register a new account and if you already have an account just go with sign in and here it is you go to your top right you click on the shop pay shop manager in here so it's just wait for it to complete its loading and here we click on the shop manager and I'm going to start from here so the first step you're going to go through is the shop preferences where you fill these three information and most of the time you'll find them filled automatically and then in order to proceed to the next step click on save and continue and do the same thing again to proceed to the other steps so here I'm just going to change the currency to the United States dollar it makes it easier to calculate your prices and your profits then click on save and continue and here you type a name for your product or for your shop so let's say digital crossword puzzles and here I will need to shorten this name a little bit let's do this it's still long and here we have it this name is available then click on save and continue then you proceed to the third step where you create a listing where you add some photos details about your item and you fill out what you can for now and you will be able to edit all of this later so here if you click on save and continue without filling these informations you will have this message fill out all of the required fields correctly in order to preview or save so for the first section you will need at least to upload one picture or one photo and the, the, the many pictures you have the better you will sell let's just agree on that and if you want to make some good pictures or photos for your product follow these tips which are use natural light and no flash include a common object for scale show the item being held worn or used shoot against a clean simple background add photos to your variations so buyers can see all their options then we have the video and if you are if you already have a video you can just upload it if not it's not required or it's not required to move on to the next step so it's just optional if you have it and if you don't have it you can just skip it and if you want to shoot a great video for your product follow these quick tips or just click on this link 
to learn how to make videos that sell and then we have the listing details where you enter a title for your shop page or for your product so for me I'm just going to go again with digital crossword puzzles and then you answer these three questions when did you make it recently and then you choose the category of your products so you will just need to type the name of your product or your niche and here you will have a lot of categories to choose from so I'm just going to go with the first one and here we have some other optional details to fill I'm just gonna leave that to you and then we have the renewal options if you want an automatic renewal or a manual renewal then you have the type of your product if, if it's a physical product or a digital product then we have the description which is very important so here just read this text which is start with a brief overview that describes your items finest features and so on then you type a good description for your product and you can also get some help from chat gpt and then we have the inventory and pricing and here make sure your price must be between 0 0.20 and 50,000 United States dollars then we have the domestic and global pricing if you want to turn it off or on and it's optional of course then we have the quantity so here we type the number that you have in your product so if you have 10 pieces or 20 or just one or two then you have the SKU number which is optional and if you have variations in your product you can add them in here if not you can just dismiss then we have the personalization if you want to turn it off or on and we have the shipping settings when where you fill the country of origin the origin postal code processing time standard shipping and also we have the return and exchanges policy so here if you want to apply the 30 days policy which is the one that that is provided by the platform and if you want to choose another policy you can create your own policy by clicking on this plus button and if you want the policy settings you can just click on this button then you click on save and continue so that's it guys for today's video don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends